Okay, this is just a quick introductory video just to show you how easy it is to use the web builder. So, to start with, when you visit your website, you'll see this opening screen. And you can see it's prompting you to choose a ready-made template. And there's loads, there's absolutely loads of these. Now, it doesn't really matter which one you choose because they are all totally customizable. So we can totally mess around with how they look. But let's, um, let's go with the first one, the hair salon. So what you do is you just hover over it and you click the blue install button. Right, now it's going to ask you for your email address. So we'll just put anything in there. It's also going to ask for the company name, so we'll just put that in there, and then we click continue. Now there's a few more boxes where you've got to put in a phone number and an address, but we'll just leave that blank for now, and then you click continue. Right, so you just give it a few seconds, and it will install the uh, template onto your website. <clears throat> right, so where it says start till, we don't need that, so just click off of that. We don't need that either. Right, so assuming you actually like the layout of a template you've chosen, then there's not much we have to do really. All we literally need to do is change the text and four images and your home page is done. So to change the text, what we do, you just literally click onto it and you type what you want it to say. So for example, my VA business. Um, right, then when you've done that, you click the blue tick button that says save changes. And you must click the blue tick button every time or it doesn't save what you've done. So there you go, we've changed the text. Now to change an image, it's very easy. You hover over the image and where it says choose an image, just click on that. Then you click the choose an image icon there. Now you can either upload your own image if you've got one. Or you click on free stock photos and you can see there's like a whole selection. So in the search box, I'm just going to type office. Right, so click search. And you can see loads of kind of office-y pictures appear. So we'll just go with one at random. We'll go with that one. And again, you must click save changes. There's the blue button there. So you click on that. And that's it. So we've got the text and the image. So all you would do... Let's click into that text and change it. Click on those three images, change it. Got some text there to edit. Type your phone number in there. Change that to your email. Click on that image and upload your own logo. And that's it. You've done the whole homepage in 30 seconds. That's all there is to it. Now, just um, this is the good part of it, really. Um, now, the page itself is split up into sections. If you can see like this bit with all the logos, it's one whole big section. And when you hover over it, that whole section kind of highlights. And this bit here is another section. Now, when you hover over a section, three icons appear in the corner. You've got the trash bin, that deletes that whole section. Then you've got the cogwheel, that, and that lets you edit various artistic attributes of that whole block. Um, and then you've got the little grove grid of sort of dots and if you click down on that let's that lets you drag that section into position up and down the page so let's say you've chosen this template but you you don't want that section you don't want some of the sections so we're going to delete this section so remove then this section here we don't want it as well so we're going to remove that right yes remove and this bit with the three images we don't actually want that either so let's delete that Right, remove. So we've kind of got rid of half of the template in the space of three seconds, but we want to add our own stuff. So you want to add a paragraph, some pictures, you want to add a few bits yourself. So how do we do it? How, how do we replace the blocks that we've just deleted? Well, the way you do it, and this is really the trick to the whole thing, if you click on the content icon here, the little plus thing in the top corner, it gives you loads of ready-made content blocks that can replace what we've just deleted. Now, all you do is you scroll through them all until you find one that you think will be a good replacement. So, for example, let's have a look. What have we got? That could be a good one. We've got three columns of text, so that would look nice. 
So all you do when you see the one you like, you do click to add. And just like that, it appears on the page. Now it normally puts it at the top. So we, we don't really want it there. So I want to drag that down a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Right, so just like that, we've added another section. And now let's say we want to add another section. So you click where it says content. And let's look to see what other sections we've got. So if we go to, um, what have we got here? There's a lot to choose from. Um, that one would look quite good, I think. So if we click, click to add, and it's, there it is, it just appears on the page. Now let's drag it down, which is easier said than done. Now sometimes, if you can't drag things down, what you can do, you take the block below it and you drag that up. That works. There it goes. So, um, yeah, that looks, uh, it's starting to look good. And actually, maybe maybe we want a testimonial just to split these two sections up. So what you do, you click on content, and there's a section called testimonials. So let's see. Uh, and there's different layouts for the testimonials. Let's just go with this one here. So you do click to add. Instantly, the testimonial appears. So let's drag that one up. And uh, I want it to, yeah, let's drag that one up as well. Yeah, there you go. I think that's the finished home page. So we've got this new section that we just added. And again, you just click into it and type your new text. Nice testimony. Again, you would click into there and add your new text. And you click onto those three and add your new text. So just like that, we've just changed the home page. Right, so the next thing is adding and removing other pages. So as you can see, it's got a gallery page. We don't really need a gallery. Um, and we might wanna add some other pages like a pricing page and a about us page. So the way you add pages, you go to the settings cog and here are your pages. Now to get rid of a page, you hover over the little cog wheel and these bits slide out. I'm just gonna click on the trash bin and get rid of the gallery page. So click on that. Right, remove, gallery page is gone. So you see it's not there. Now we wanna add some pages. So again, you click on settings, you go to add new sub page, and let's add an about us page, because we want that. Right, add. And let's add prices page as well. So click on add new sub page, remove prices. Right, add. Now to edit any of the pages, you just literally click on a page you wanna edit. So let's click on prices. Right, so we've got a paragraph there, that's a good section, but now let's say we wanna add another section. So you click on content again, and what have we got? Now there's actually a section called pricing, so if you click on that, you can see there's loads of ready-made layouts for prices. So let's just click on one, that will look nice. So we click on that one. And there you go, instantly that appears on the page. And now, let's just drag a few things above it. Um, right, can I drag that down? No, I can't. So we're going to drag the thing beneath it, above it. And there you go, I saw a pricing page. Just like that. Um, actually, we don't... Uh, yeah, we can just keep that how it is. Now there is a trick actually, um, there's quite a bit of a gap between the word pricing and the end of the paragraph. Now, there's a way to close up these gaps, which is very easy. So um, you hover over the section and this time you click on the little cogwheel setting. And what you do is you look for the option called default block spacing. And then you've got sliders. And you can see if I start sliding that up and down, it starts to close up the gaps. So I'll do that. So click Save Changes. You can see now that's really closed up the gap. So it's as simple as that, really. Um, now, if we go to the Services page, let's edit that. Right, that's a restaurant menu. I don't know what that's all about, but we don't need that. So we click on the little red trash bin. That's gone. Now we want to add a content section for our services. So we click on content again, and let's see what's gonna be best for that. So if we click on features, what have we got? That would be a good one. 
So we do click to add. Right, and that's we want to put that above it. So let's drag that above. Yeah, that looks good. So for each one of these, you just click into it and type your services, and it's done. And I should mention also with the pages, you can drag the pages, you can change the order around, and you can also add special types of pages. So if we do add new sub page again. If we click on this, show more options, there's different kinds of pages. We can add a photo gallery, shopping cart, or even a blog. So if I click on blog, right, let's call our new page blog. Right, add. There we go, we've got a new blog. Now if I click on the blog there, and I click on manage module, I've got all options for how I want the blog to be. I can even add a new blog. So if I click on new post, Let's uh, type in a new title, new blog, let's call it. And then you would uh, click in there to add a subtitle and then there to type in the whole rest of the blog. Then we, and you can click on that to change and add an image. Then when you're done, you click save draft and then you click publish. And it's done. So if we click on blog, now I've got the two blogs, although they're one underneath the other. I actually prefer them as a grid. So if you click on blog again and manage module, there's an option there to uh, change it to grid. So you do save changes. And now it's a grid. So, so, so far we've got our home page, which looks like that. Services page, which looks like that. Uh, prices, which looks like that. So all of this has been done in less than 10 minutes. Now, what you may notice, the prices are kind of green and red. You might not like that. So um, if you click on design, you can start messing around with the color, color scheme. If you, like, just by clicking on a color scheme, I'm changing the whole thing in seconds. And it's changing the color scheme throughout the whole website. And all I'm doing is just one click just does it. And then you click save changes. And there you go, it's changed it. Well, it won't change the logo because that's actually a logo. You, you, know, you have to upload a new one. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you click on settings, you've got various other options like social media, and that is to do with um, adding the social media icons at the bottom of the page. And you've also got um, SEO and meta tags. You can click in that and mess around with the SEO and the meta tags. Um, and if you make a mistake, if you click on the three dots here at the bottom, there's an undo option, which lets you restore things back to an earlier state if you make a mistake. Uh, and you've also got this apps icon. If you click on that, there's various apps, um, like adding a slider or a voting poll, FAQs, various things. And that is pretty much all of the web builder. So I've covered that all in just over 10 minutes. And that's it. So if you, if you think that looks easy to master, um, then let's do it. Just get in contact. Thank you.